Okay, so welcome back to the channel, everybody. We're out on the golf course, and we've got a new wedge uh, to review for you today, and it's the new Cleveland Ripcore, RTX Ripcore wedge. So we're gonna take a little look. We're gonna hit some golf balls, obviously off some turf, into some proper greens. I'm gonna give you a little bit of feedback of the looks, the performance, a little bit of technology involved in these uh, wedges, so we'll obviously we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that, and we'll see how they perform actually on the golf course. Okay, so just before we jump into the video, if you enjoy any content I'm putting out there and you haven't subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. But also a big thank you to Appleby Golf Club here in Cumbria. Fantastic golf, little golf course here. You should definitely come and play. It's a little bit like a hidden gem. The, the conditions are super. We've had a lot of rain recently and the fairways are as dry as anything. The greens are really running very nicely. So make sure you come and have a game if you can get here. So big thanks to them for letting me come and film. So just as I'm hitting these 50 yard pitches into this green, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the technology in these new rib core wedges. So we've got um, a low density core that sits in the heart of the RTX head. So this zip core is what Cleveland are calling it, shifts the center of gravity while raising the MOI. So this is increasing speed been enhancing control and also the consistency of your shots. Now grooves are always a big thing we talk about on wedges and they get deeper and sharp and we hear this all the time and again this is something that Cleveland is saying so new grooves sharper deeper and also narrower so the grooves a little bit more um, positioned closer together deeper so that's allowing debris to get into the groove and then there's a new heat treatment the wedges go through when they're being produced so by blasting some heat on these wedges, it increases their durability over a period of time. So ultimately, Cleveland is saying these wedges, the, the, the edges of the grooves will stay intact for longer through more multiple rounds of golf. Okay, so 50 yard shot off turf, feels fantastic, reacted really nicely, got a nice bit of control, because these greens are pretty firm, so that, that they pulled up very nicely from that short 50 yard shot. Let's throw ourselves into bunker now and see how it comes out of that bunker. Okay, so as I say, still got the 58 degree mid bounce, so it's 10 degrees of bounce on this. It's got that mid bounce, we've got that back edge just shaved off a little bit there, so a little bit of uh, back edge sole relief. Just gonna open this up a little bit and just see how this comes out. Yeah, that's a great, I might just finish on that one. That's a nice, uh, nice shot there, just a little bit of splash, just released out a little bit. Again, that sole just interacts through nicely in that bunker, that 10 degrees of bounce, I think is enough there for me personally. Again, this is where you should go and get wedge fitted because if you're a little bit steep on that golf ball, then you might need a bit more of that fuller um, sort of bounce, that fuller grind in a way, just to help you get that, that extra help through that sole as it enters the, both the turf, turf and, the, uh, and the bunker and the sand. Just flew on a bit further, a bit skinny, but then really pulled up very quickly there, as you'd expect out of the bunker. We're always gonna get that little bit more spin out of the bunker. Yeah, that feels great. Responsive, super feel off the club face. The real good thing that Cleveland are offering is wedge fitting and interchangeable heads and shafts and different shafts that you can try through a fitting process, which for, as far as I know, no other brand is sort of offering this. So like maybe what you see with fitting heads, you can interchange shafts through a fitting process and you can now do it with wedges, which you could never really do before. And obviously they have some specialized wedge shafts. So a Taurus shoe spinner shafts, um, high ref KBS shafts, there's a lot of different shafts in which all just subtly will change how the ball launches again it all depends on your delivery the loft that you del deliver you sort of quite a, a like a popping up sort of ball flight when you play your wedges or you're sort of firing these quite sort of low and would like to try and get a little bit more height again there's different sort of shafts there will help to try and generate a little bit more spin a little bit more launch or vice versa. Okay, so now let's test it on a little tricky shot. So a bit more of a bare lie. We've got a bunker to go over and then not a lot of green to work with just over that bunker. So delicate little shot. Again, I'm just gonna play with this 58. We've got the mid bounce. Now, this is where you would maybe sort of look at options when you go into these lob wedges, maybe go into that low bounce. If, you, if you're playing at a golf course that's very sort of tight lies, you might wanna be dropping that bounce and that grind a little bit lower to make sure you get underneath that golf ball and get it sort of popping up and over. Again, it, you've got to sort of discuss that maybe with your fitter at the time. And this is one of the reasons why a lot of the wedge brands now offer so many options. Um, it does get sometimes quite confusing, but that's again where you want to go and get fit. So let's play this one, little delicate one. 
58 degree. I'm just going to open this up a little bit. And when I do that, leading edge doesn't fire up massively from that from the ground there. So I've still got a bit of confidence. I'm just going to get underneath this. Yeah, just threw that a little bit further, just making sure I get over that bunker. Bit more course management there. Let's try and play a little bit more of a softer one. But again, that just slid through very, very nicely. Interaction with the ground was lovely. That's good. So even this short shot, quite a floaty one, it's getting a bit of control when that lands there. You can sort of, it doesn't fire off. It's quite a soft feeling golf club. It doesn't feel hard off that club face at all. Just a little bit firm then for me, just making sure I get in over that bunker. I don't want to dump one of those in camera. Um, but yeah, we've got this obviously this you know RTX, which we've seen for many generations now in the RTX, with this milling, this circular milling. You've got laser milling in between each of the each of the grooves as well. So obviously that's just trying to really get as much roughness on that club phase within legal limitations to get that ultimate control in and around the green.